Today I'm going to show you how to use the Sika Pro Select Fence Post Mix. I'm going to give you my opinion on how effective it is compared to using concrete. Uh, here's one of the posts that I already poured. Uh, I cut off the excess foam. It look, looks a little rough right now. I used that saw right there to cut off. There's a chunk of foam left over. And there's a second post that I already poured. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you this next post that have, I have not poured yet. And I'm going to go ahead and do All right, first thing we're going to do, we're going to start with getting everything ready. You want to be right by the hole with the bag. You got your pair of scissors handy. You got your level. You want to make sure your post is already totally level. And you can see I've got some boards there securing it. I'm going to go, go ahead and tear it open. Again, this is a six foot fence that I'm building. I actually set my, my clock because I you only have 15 seconds to mix this product. And the first thing you want to do is break that seal right in the center. And I just rolled it up on my knee until all of a sudden I could feel right about there. It just popped. You see that? I kept rolling it and I just, for 15 seconds, I shook it as much as I could. Get a nice, nice, good mix. Being aware of that you don't want to go over the 15 seconds. If you go too long, the foam will start expanding in the bag and then could rupture the bag and just have to throw it away. All right, so that's 15 seconds. Got the scissors right there handy. Go ahead and cut that corner that's designated on the bag. As you see, I'm wearing gloves and I'm wearing some glasses. And you just pour it all around the post. Make sure you get behind it. All right, and just roll the bag like that, just kind of like a toothpaste container you just keep on rolling it to squeeze every last drop out of it and it does empty quite nicely there you go i'm just going to go ahead and show you inside of the hole so you can see what it looks like it's kind of a greenish it's kind of like a slime what is that movie that is it flubber it looks like this green slime. But uh, it immediately, within, well, like it says, within three minutes, it's actually setting. And within two hours, it's set where you can actually build the fence. In fact, that's why I chose this product, because I didn't want to have to wait till the next day, like with concrete, to actually start putting up at the fence post. So I wanted to do it right away. So after you've poured it, you want to double check to make sure the fence is level, or the post is level. In this case, it, it was level. And I'll give you a word of warning, of caution. You want to keep checking for level. As that foam expands, it actually moves the post and it lifts it up off the ground. I, I was quite surprised. In, in a minute, I'll show you on a video. I did it on fast speed. And it, you can actually see the post lifting up. All right, so just keep on watching here. Let's go back in, zoom in, so you can actually see the foam expanding. Yeah, you can actually see it li lifting up right now. It's amazing. It's, I don't know what the ratio is, 1,000 to 1 or something, how it expands. So within a matter of three minutes, it'll be fully up. So the things, well, what I've noticed is uh, when it comes out of the hole, it shoots up like a mushroom. Instead of like concrete, it, it's nice and level and you know, flows. It just goes straight up and it leaves this weird gap on the edge where you end up having to cut it off. It does cut it quite easily. Again, I'm checking again for level. You only have about three minutes to make sure that post is level. And you can see I've got the string there. I just keep checking to make sure it's just barely touching that string. All 
it's still expanding. Again, this is only one bag, which is awesome because one bag of this product that only costs, I think it was $12.95 at Home Depot, uh, is equal to two 50 pound sacks of concrete. And in a minute, I sped up the video and you can see it actually lifts I, it lifts the post out of the ground. I guess some of the liquid went underneath the post. I started lifting it and making it crooked. Uh, what I I left the post for two hours after, after I got it all level, and I came back and it actually was no longer level. It was close enough for you know for a fence, but I was unpleasantly surprised that it moved pretty significantly um, in the two hours that I was letting it harden up. See that post? Look at that. See that lifting up? It lifted up and went to the side a little bit. You should back up on the video and play it again. That's why it's so important to keep to stand there and keep adjusting it and uh, checking for level. All right, this is not an asteroid. This is actually the foam that's about 20 hours old that I cut off the top of one of the the mushrooms that was created. Uh, and I just want to go ahead and show you how strong it is. I got this little pickaxe here. I'm going to go ahead and give it a good whack. And I'll break it in half so you can see how strong it is. Now, it's definitely not as strong as concrete. I mean, you can smack it with this little pickaxe hammer. And it it will break apart, but obviously it's good enough to hold the post in place. Now, I did end up pouring concrete on top of this foam because um, I wanted to have that angle. The concrete was angled down so the water would go away from it. And I also wanted to look like a normal fence post, not just white foam. You could just cover it with dirt I don't think that looks as good. So what I did is I just dumped part of a bag of dry concrete and just all around the hole. And I took a hose and poured it on, took a stick, mixed it up a little bit and poked it. And then I took this trowel and I just formed the concrete around the posts, so a little bit of an angle. So when it rains, the water drains away from the post. It also makes it look much nicer, like a real fence post. Here I'm going to do a little test. So the concrete posts have hardened, uh, excuse me, the foam has hardened and the concrete has been poured. Uh, this is all the same day. So wiggling it here, it's pretty secure. I mean, it wiggles a little bit, but it's just like a concrete fence. All the posts are pretty, pretty, pretty secure. So I, this, I built all this the same day. Uh, this is as far as I made it. Here is the finished product. It's a 20 foot long fence, six foot slats, boards. Uh, there is a two by six, a pressure treated two by six on the base. And you can see uh, this is all made with the uh, well, the foam post material with a little concrete on top. But it turned out really nice. It's nice and secure. Now the question is, 